One of the most urgent tasks in order to rescue this chateau four years ago was the renovation of the crumbling facades. With a limited budget, we managed to renovate three of the four sides of the chateau. We had some problems with the new plaster, which was cracking, but a new team of masons have now finished the replastering of those three sides, and in our opinion, our chateau is looking better than ever. This week's video is dedicated to our patrons, because without you supporting our channel, what I'm going to show you now wouldn't happen. We decided to use all the money that we make through Patreon exclusively for the renovation of the chateau and the gardens, which might come as a disappointment because I know that many of you hoped that at least some of the money would be allocated to the acquisition of a boat. But I do have a slight disagreement on this point uh, with Anna, my wife. Anyways, come and see. That's scaffolding on our fourth facade. We waited for this moment about four years and now finally we can afford it. I really want to see what happens up there, so I'm going to climb up, which is probably dangerous and it might as well be the last thing you see from me. But a little pro tip, if you climb up a scaffolding, you should wear boat shoes with socks. So if you die, if you don't make it, at least you die as a fashion icon. Also, please notice that I'm just doing this with one hand, because obviously I'm holding the camera in the other hand. Alors, premier verdict sur, ce, sur cette façade. Bon, ça va, c'est plutôt en assez bon état. Quoi. Ouais. I spoke with the masons, and in order not to have to subtitle everything, which takes hours, I'm going to tell you what they said. They said that they're quite surprised. The walls are okay, it's a lot of work, but they're better than they expected. They think that they might be in worse conditions lower down because a lot of cement was used to do repairs. And as you know, cement and bricks doesn't work well together because the cement expands, it, it uh, doesn't breathe and it ends up cracking the, the, the bricks. But it was done in the 60s and 70s, people didn't know, so they used cement everywhere. Uh, now they're going to replace it with lime, with a lime mortar, much more gentle to the walls, much more breathable, much more sustainable. Ooh. Wow, I don't want to fall down there. Okay, there's some, some bricks are missing, so they have to replace them. They're just broken, look at that. It just came off. Um, but they did a really good job in cleaning all the joints and stonework here. And as you can see, there's some stripes of bricks and then stripes of stone and stripes of bricks. That's going to look really, really nice once it's rendered. Oh yeah, that's all. That's a bit scary. Okay. How, how trustworthy do you think are these scaffoldings? Just need to trust the builders. Ooh. Oh, this is really, really high up. It's beautiful up here. You can see the chimney. Look. They did some repairs, not these guys, the guys who were here before. It was just repairs, we just asked them to do repairs, but I should have asked them to do the chimneys completely, but it was too expensive. I don't know, I need to speak with Jean Paul if, it's, if it would be necessary to redo this. This is split in half here. Oh yeah. Doesn't look really stable. These two little windows 
to go into our attic. Probably also these wooden bits here, they need to be changed, I don't know. Also that window doesn't lead anywhere anymore because there's a chimney behind it. It's silly, but I'm tempted to step on the roof. And theoretically, I can because I'm protected by the chimney. Look at this. <laughs> Look at our beautiful roof. We have plants growing out of the chimney. Is it fern? Looks like fern to me. It's an old bell which was used to call in the, the walkers when, when lunch was ready. It doesn't work anymore. I'd love to reactivate this one. That's the other chimney. I've never seen these so close. I could have flown my drone, obviously, but it's different when you stand up here. We haven't shown much of the roof yet. Um, the roof there, behind this, is in fairly good condition. It has been redone about 20 years ago. But here, all these slates, they're okay. But the problem are these little hooks, which have been made in steel and not in stainless steel. And so they're rusting. Here you can see some newer ones. We had to replace them because we installed this ventilation. And these are the new ones and that's how they should look like. We got a quote to redo this part of the roof and the opposite part and it would be about 40, 50,000 euros, which is a lot of money. I think it will be necessary sooner than later. There's also an, an unusual view of our garden. Now looking at it from this side, maybe this always was two stones, actually. I don't know. Okay. Well, it's lovely to be on the roof, <sighs> on top of the world. Our little shattered world here. Now I need to go down. Over the last two months, the Masons have done an amazing job on the facade. And the only downside has basically been the mess, the dust that they have left behind, which, you know, is, comes with the territory. But now they're on the fourth facade, which is on the other side of the chateau, I wanted to tidy this area up a little bit because this is where we like to have dinners in the evening when it's nice weather. And our little brick terrace that we created a couple of years ago is looking very sorry for itself. It's completely encrusted with dust and uh, I thought it was about time to get the culture out and clean it up. Mr. Ziggs, I'm not sure you're gonna like the culture. light blue jeans. I don't think this is a good idea for carturing. And I just told Philip off for wearing his good trousers to do some DIY stuff on the gates. happy with that. There are a few little white patches and that's where the lime mortar that the masons use has actually adhered to the brick. So I'm actually going to have to ask them if they can use their product that they use to clean off all the bricks. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks way better. I'm really happy. I am finally psychologically ready to come back to the gates and carry on where I failed brutally last time. I need to put a couple of cables in and then I should be able to program the control center which will control the opening and closing of the gate.
also ordered some stuff from Italy, some spare parts, but it turns out only half of the spare parts came. Um, so I need to improvise a little bit. I'm not going to film this because it's a bit boring. So see me in a couple of seconds fast forwarding to the successful outcome. I brought and installed these cables here, like on the other side, and um, yeah, and I put them into here, They're coming out here. Okay, less than five hours later, and with the help of my wife, Anna, I managed to install, well, to prepare all the cables. You see three long cables here, uh, here on the floor. And uh, what I have to do is to dig a trench and place them where the old cables were. Now, I'm gonna do that tomorrow, not because I'm lazy, but also because I'm lazy, but also because there's another job, lowering the lawn, mowing the lawn, I always get that wrong, which is more pleasant, more interesting, and kind of equally important. So I'm gonna mow the lawn and do this later slash tomorrow. But everything is connected on this side where the gates are and it's good, it's good, I'm happy. I'm about to finish the edits of this week's vlog, uh, but I wanted to show you the progress they've made on the, on the fourth facade. I'm back up at the scaffolding. Uh, I didn't film the ascent because it was almost as exciting as it was the first time. It's amazing. It looks already so much cleaner and yes, they've done a great job. So much work, so much dust inside as well. You can see they also replaced some of the missing bricks or the bricks that were broken. Obviously they look a bit newer, but in a couple of years you won't see the difference. And also there's gonna be a slight modification of the roof. Before here, this was exposed brick. It was the top of the wall. Whilst this is a traditional way of doing it, it's also not a very smart way of doing it because the bricks get wet, water gets in there, and eventually they, they break, as you can see here. Like, can you see that? Little cracks everywhere. We're gonna slightly change the, the roof. We're gonna put some uh, zinc here. Zinc, zinc, I think, which is the same material as we use for the gutters. It means not being 100% faithful to the architecture, but I think this is a good improvement. It keeps the wall much healthier. And honestly, nobody apart from me will notice anyway. It's the same material as here and here, so it's not going to be much of a shock. It's just going to be so much, so much better for the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about the renovation of our fourth facade. I can't wait to see them putting the plaster on. That will make a huge difference. And of course, we will show you every step of it. See you soon. If you would like to see the next steps of this project, please consider subscribing. And to support our channel, check out our Patreon page. Thanks so much for watching.